Hi there, it's called Dude Clem, and it's now time to play the fabulous game Silly Silly Tape Recorder. Using my two reel to reels. And for those of you who don't know what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect the heads on these two tape recorders together and see if I can get them to play and record on each other's tapes. First thing first, we've got to find out what connections on the head are what. And um, just turn these two on. Now while this one is warming up, we'll test this one. This one is, this tape recorder uses transistors, this one uses, uses valves or tubes. Now we find out what connections on the head are what. On most tape recorders, the metal body of the head is the ground, and there's one wire for recording and one wire for playback. So I'm going to touch the terminals on the head and find out what connection is the playback. You hear that buzz? That shows that that connection there is the playback. So this one, this one should be the record. Yeah, that doesn't do anything when I touch it. So now we found the connections on that head. Now we do the same with the other recorder. Firstly, take the head cover off and touch the connections on the head. Now this red wire is probably the playback. So we'll just try that. This one doesn't need to be put into play to do this test because it's amplifying the head already. So I'll just touch that and see. Okay, that seems to be the playback wire. I'll just see this what this one does. So that must be the recording wire. Now before we get silly silly, let's just hear these tape recorders playing normally first. Now let's see what's on this one. Okay, now the two heads are connected together. I've I'm going to play a tape on this recorder here and it should come out through the speakers on this one here because this is going to be taking the signal from this head and amplifying it. I've turned the volume on this one right down and the volume on this one right up so I'll just put this into play. I can hear a bit of hum there through the cable but uh, Let's play this one and see what happens. one can play a tape from this recorder's head. Now let's try it the other way around. Let's turn the volume on this one up. That should be enough. Turn the volume on this one right down. And let's see what we get. Okay, that didn't work so well, but at least it works. Um, now, let's try recording. 
I'm going to try to make a recording on this tape in this recorder using this recorder to do the work. As the two heads are connected together, the signal should jump from this head to this head and it should make the recording. Now, I have a microphone, well, the insert from a dynamic microphone um, connected up to the microphone input, as you can see. Now, this tends to record a lot of bass, so I've made a crude high-pass filter, so we should get a good recording. Put this into record, and this one into record two. Um, just adjusting my level here, I can see the magic eye meter fluctuating when I speak in the microphone. And hopefully, this recorder should be recording what this recorder is also recording, if you see what I mean. Anyway, let's, uh, let's play that back and see if we got anything. That should be enough. Okay, well let's try it. The, let's try it the other way around. I'll plug the microphone into the microphone socket here. Put this into record mode. So that is now recording. Yes, I can see the meter fluctuating when I speak into it. Now we'll start this one recording and see what we get. Okay, so hopefully my voice should be recording onto the onto the head on the um, on the smaller reel to reel and it should be making a recording. If it hasn't if it hasn't I'll have to try and figure out what the problem is. So let's stop these two recording right now. So I'll just wind this back. And again, nothing. So anyway, I think I know what's going on here. I think that this head uses the same connection for recording and playback. So I'm just going to reconfigure the, uh, the way I've connected the two heads together and see if we get anything. <laughs>